Hey everyone, today we're checking out the G major pentatonic scale and we're going to do some phrasing with that scale which means we're going to create little short snippets of solos or melodies and we're going to use the 3-2 pattern. If you don't know the 3-2 pattern, um, check out this video right here or right here where I show it to you uh, in depth. So the 3-2 pattern again, E of G, we're going to go starting on G here. This is major pentatonic. pentatonic so what we're gonna do is some short little phrases here and the idea is to start to learn how to use the scale to sound more musical to sound like music uh, instead of just a scale okay so here's the first one we're gonna do a couple hammer-ons so on the fifth fret Next one, we're going to start on the fifth fret on the A string. Cool. And then we're going to do the same exact two phrases, but an octave higher. So we're going to start on seventh fret on the D string. start 7th fret G string. Cool. So what I want you to do is to try those right now with this G drone backing track. Go for it. All right, did you do it? Okay, here's what it would sound like, okay? So here's our track, something like. Pretty cool, right? Not mind blowing, but cool. <laughs> A way to get started, okay? So let's check out the next one. All right, so here's our next couple of phrases, okay? They're gonna be similar. We're gonna have one, two, three. We're gonna have four eighth notes followed by two sets of triplets, okay? So we're still gonna be here. We're gonna go. So. that one more time. Okay, then we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna start on the A string. So I'm adding in like hammer-ons and slides and vibrato to try and spice this up. These are phrasing elements. So one more time on that one. All right, so give that a shot with the backing track and I'll be right back.
All right, did you do it? Cool, pretty cool, right? All right, so here's what it would sound like. So we've got. I'm calling these motif slides. Motif, a motif is a short musical phrase that we use as like a theme, okay? So our motif is basically uh, that's gonna be our motif, okay? So here's the first one. sliding back from nine to seven. Then we're gonna go. So, all right, you guys try those with the backing track, all right? Here we go. All right, did you do those? All right, I hope you did. These ones are really cool. So here we go. Here's me doing them. last one does not belong. We're using the major seven. This note is the major seven of G. That note is not in pentatonic, so I'm sort of cheating with that one. Sorry about that. But it sounds pretty cool, and it resolves the, the whole motif nicely. So again, that is not in pentatonic, but um, we're going to just use it anyway. All right, here's the next one. All right, next we've got some triplets and a slide. Triplets into a slide. So we've got. Again. Love that one. Then we're going to move up to the B string. Same kind of thing. Try those with the backing track and I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. Did you try those? Cool. All right, my time. My turn. My turn. My time. My turn. All right, here we go. checking those out i hope you get some use out of those make sure you go back and try them again with the backing track and i think you'll really start to hear how the major pentatonic works over uh backing track it's just a g note no major no minor happening behind it but we're focusing on major pentatonic and just creating little phrases using the three two pattern remember we're doing phrasing using the scale so what we're trying to do is turn the scale basically from a scale into music, into a solo, a melody, a lead, a lick, something, okay? So these are very basic, but this is a great way to get started. So keep up the good work and I'll see you next time. Yeah, but we're focusing on the minor. <laughs> no, ah. so remember, but remember?